I actually don't know if you can see me or not. I'm a god dang mess. I'm a god dang mess. I've got, I have got just got in my car. Emily's got her bagel that she was dying for. Were you dying for your bagel, Gloria? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm. Now, you know, mm -hmm. I'm actually talking to, to my yarny friends. Um, I put lots of boxes up on my website, and for some reason, it got to a certain point, and it's not letting anybody check out anymore. So, I don't know what's going on. I have seven boxes on the website. So, if you would like a box, please message me, because I just, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, and then we can, I just send you my private, uh, it's a business PayPal account. But, um, if, yeah, I got seven boxes left. So, if you would like them, let me know. Um, we can, I'll, I'll give you fosteringcrochet at uh, gmail.com. And I will um, send you an invoice through my PayPal because that's just so weird how it's not working. Anyway, I'm at Michael's. It's right there. I just I just got rid of yarn, but I I I was very in, interested. Can you get my yarn for me, Gloria? It's all the way over there. Is that it? Oh well, good. She she was quick. Um. I wasn't a big fan of this cotton lava. I mean, I like cotton lava. I mean, I like the cakes. I like, you know, the blend because it makes it super soft. And I, it's like a four weight, maybe a three. It says it's a four, but I'm going to use a smaller hook because I want to make shirt out of it. I know, I keep saying I'm only going to make shirts out of, uh, you know, my beautifulness that I got from the Hobby Lobby. I've got a lot of, oh, I've got some beautifulness from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby's right there. I don't know if I want to go. I'm afraid that they have their stupid lot sale. And if they have their lot sale, I might buy some stuff. And I don't want to buy anything because that's just so sad. But anyway, so I purchased. I, I didn't like that it had the center uh, was one color and then the whole outside was a different color. But I thought, but if I make a shirt and I color control it, I bet you. I got three of them, by the way. Uh, it'll be plenty, plenty for a t-shirt or even a sweater because it is um, 227 grams. So that's a 660, 70, 4, 82. It's plenty big enough. I usually use five to 600 grams depending on what stitch I use, but, um, and the sleeves and how long the sleeves are gonna be. Uh, but I think I'm gonna use an ex like an extended single I don't know how you call it I'm actually using that on my daughter's shirt right now and it's giving a great texture and beautifulness and it's still a closed stitch <sighs> I'm just yapping now but I got three of them they were on sale for six bucks five ninety nine yeah they were half off 50 percent off so it was, it was 11 dollars and they took six dollars off it's now 5 dollars so these were 5 dollars and I was perfectly okay paying 5 dollars for these and not 12 dollars but I was looking at the um what were those cakes called? Oh my gosh, they're cloud cakes. I want them so bad. Those bad boys are $12. I'm like, but if I make a snuggly blanket, I'm gonna have to have at least three of them. That's $36 blanket plus tax. I'm like, well, I mean, a $36 blanket is okay. But then I'm like, but if I wanna make one my size, you know, across my whole bed, maybe four or five, and then you're getting up to $60 for a blanket. And I know that seems like a lot, but uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Is it worth it? Maybe I don't. I've never worked with the cloud cakes before, so I don't know if it's worth it. I don't want to get sick, start it, and go. Oh, I don't like it. But then I don't want to buy two, and then I come back here, you know, two weeks later, and they're all gone, sold out of my the color that I want. No, my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I I almost purchased this. I was so close. Um, but they had the. But those are the latte cakes. I'm madly deeply in love with those latte cakes. But I didn't have any of like the same color. But I was just thinking the other day, I was like, you know, it'd be really cool if they just had it in a single color. Instead of all the variegated, you know, strappy stuff, I just wish they had it in a single color. Oh my God, darn, they had one in a beautiful cream color. I'm like, oh my God, could you imagine the blanket? And I'm telling you right now, if they had five or six of those, I would have bought all of them. I don't even care how much it would cost. Uh uh. Six times 12, oh my gosh, it's $72. I probably would have done it anyway, because oh my gosh, 
Could you imagine a blanket? And winter's coming, and it's cold here in Cedar Rapids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know I said I didn't really like the texture, but I think, well, Sue, it's all your fault because you made that blanket out of latte, and I saw it on your, when we had our private Zoom, and I was just like, oh, my God, I might have to, well, <laughs> It just looks so good, Sue. I, so I'm, I'm starting to think about it. I'm like looking and making, seeing if they're going to go on sale anytime soon. And if they do, I'm telling you, it's a toss up between the cloud cakes and the latte cakes. And I'm telling you something else. Every time I get sick, my accent gets a little thicker, and I just, I'm, it's, I'm getting a little pissy about it, to be fair. Because I was walking around in the store, and they're like, oh my God, where are you from? I love your accent. And I'm like, I'm from here. I'm from Iowa. Well, you don't sound like you're from Iowa. I said, well, technically, I was born in the great state of Mississippi, but uh, my dad was in the military, and we moved around everywhere, and and then I settled in my 20s, I'm 54, like early 20s, I settled in the South, and I've been living here in Iowa for a little over a year, and it ain't going nowhere. Where's my accent going? It needs to leave. It needs to go. It needs to get out. I'm sick and tired of it. Tired. I tell you what, though, it's really cute on my daughter. She says... Mom, she's so cute when she speaks, and, and you you can tell she's from the South. She was born in the South. Um, it's just so cute. All my kids are born in the South. That's just so cute. And I think, I think I'm talking like them instead of talking like the South. So I'm gonna try real hard to get rid of it. I'm trying real hard. It's not that I don't dislike it. It's just I don't want to be. I'm I'm from I'm here in Iowa. I need to be from Iowa. <laughs> not from, I'm not from the South. I lived there a really long time, but I'm not from there. Anyhow, I got um, three of these. Can you even see it in this dark car? I got people walking behind me. You can see them walking by. Oh my gosh. So this actually reminds me of, is this, uh, yeah, it's our inspirations of the um, Premier Butterfly. I think that was anti-pilling, the three, very thin, three weight. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I did not like that yarn. I mean, I liked the yarn, but I did not like the idea of it. This, I like it a little bit better because it's, it's, because that was like just a teeny tiny bit of color and then a big bunch of whatever color was on the outside. And, uh, but yeah, I like this color. So we're going to try. When I get done with Emily's shirt and my cardigan, I'm going to make a t-shirt a t a t -shirt or something out of this. And, uh, I'm really experimenting with different fibers because so far I have not liked the, um, what are those pretty little cakes called? Shoot. I've made four sweaters so far and I've only liked the, the Superwash Merino, which is a 7525, uh, out of my minis. And, uh, yeah. But I want to try the cotton because it gets hot here. Actually, it's August right now, and it's not even a little bit hot. July was in the hundreds. Now, it's 85. 85 degrees. I'm like, where did the what? Where where did it go? And I'm used to it being super hot, super hot. Even when it was 105, I'm like, well, it's hot, but it's not humid. I mean, it's humid. It is humid. Don't get me wrong, it's humid. But it's not like Florida humid. I mean, you know, it ain't like Florida humid. I'm sure in a couple more years, I'll be like, oh my God, it's 95 degrees. I want to, I want to, I want to die if he, it might happen, it might not, I don't know. Hmm. So I am still dealing with the head cold, tiredness. I was almost out by eight o'clock. Out. I was done. I was so tired. I had a really great week at work and I was going to work today and I'm like, you know what? I need time to recuperate and and stuff. So I'm going to do that while I went to the Goodwill too. You know they had yarn at the Goodwill. They had this premium acrylic. It was from Canada. I almost got it because it was from Canada. And maybe if I go back Monday and it's still there, I might get it. It was a two-weight yarn. It was so soft. It was premium acrylic from Canada. Look at her. She bought herself a picture. They wrapped it up all nice and neat too in brown paper. Oh shit, she's right in front of me. Um, so I'm going to get off. So if you guys want any of the boxes and my website still isn't letting you check out, just send me a message, Foster and Crochet. Tell me how many boxes you want and I will send you a, um, invoice for it. Okay. I'll talk to you later. You guys remember small big. Talk to you soon. You see her elbow? Crazy girl.